Hello, it's Amanda here from Faithfully Homemade, and today I'm going to show you a work tray I have for my kindergartner. It's a math work tray, and I came up with an activity um, to do that's kind of Christmas themed for number bonds. And basically, if you don't know what number bonds are, they're a good way to start teaching addition um, because they help your child see um, the different uh, patterns in the numbers and how to separate them and how they can add up to equal um, a number. So I'll show you an example, but these are the number bond sheets that I made. If you'd like to get these, I'll leave a link below where you can download them off my website. Um, and uh, they just have the different numbers on them. And then, for example, what you need to do is give your child some sort of manipulative. I have these little Christmas, um, these are actually those little foam stickers that you can get, but uh, we use foam stickers for a lot of other things besides just using them as stickers. Um, so I like to get these. I got these off of Oriental Trading years ago, and then we just reuse them um, for just different things. Example, what we're going to use them for today. So I just put, you know, a handful of them in this little bin, and what I'm going to have him do is he's going to look at the number. So the number he has today is, or for this one, is six. So he's going to count out six objects. And he can put them anywhere. He just has to count out six. So let's put them down here. One, whoop, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so he's got six little objects here. So what he's going to do is he's going to use them and he has to separate them into two piles. So how could you do that? Well, I can put one here and I can put all the rest here. If I want, that's one way to do it. So one plus one, two, three, four, five equals six. And what I'm gonna have him do, you don't have to do this next step, but I'm gonna make another separate step what I'm going to have him do is I'm going to have him use this. I have, these are just cards, and you can make your own on the computer and, and just print them out. Um, but I'm going to have him write out the problem now. So looking at his number bond that he made, he made 1 plus 5 equals 6. And then he's going to use a dry erase marker on his tray, and he's going to write 1 plus 5 equals 6. Six. And then he's going to do another one. So what's another number bond we can do? Well, we can move one over, and now we have 2 plus 4 equals 6. So then he can change it, and he can write 2 plus 4 equals 6. Well, we can move another one over. Now we can have 3 plus 3. So you get the idea, he'd, he'd change it again. So then we'd have three plus three equals six. And you could also keep a tally of all the ones you've done. So we've done one plus five, we did um, two plus four, and we've done three plus three. And then he can move another one over. Now he has four plus two. But if we look at what we've already done, we've already done two plus four. So we can talk about how two plus four is the same as four plus two. That's the addition, the, um, the additive property or the, I don't know, I forget where you, you can switch the numbers and it still equals the same number. So um, then he can see that. And then um, another one we can do is we can move them all over to one side and we can have six plus zero. So one more would be six plus zero, and he can write it up here too, um, equals six. So we can come up with all the different combinations, but this is just a good visual way for him to see it. So, um, and by the way, if you have a cookie tray, um, not only is it magnetic, which I love, but it also, you can um, use dry erase markers on it and erase them. So that is one of them. Hundred miles away. What are you saying, mister? Um, so, for example, then we could do seven, and so he would get seven objects. I won't do the entire thing for you, but you would get the idea. He'd need seven objects. 
and then he'd use those and he'd start doing it again. And we could see how many different combinations we can make that add up to seven. So um, I hope that is a fun activity you can try with your kids. Um, yeah. It, like I said, if you would like to uh, download these pages, I just put them into plastic sleeves, as you see here. Um, I printed them out and put them in plastic sleeves. I didn't laminate them because I didn't want to waste lamination. So they're just in a plastic sleeve. Hang on just one second, bud. And um, you can get these off my website. I'll leave a link below. All right, see you next time.